Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we're talking about rigging the Sea Falcon Cutlass. Okay, this is called the Real Cutlass, and it is, without a doubt, one of the most effective fast jigs there are out there. If you don't have them, I suggest you pick some up and uh, use them. Now, how effective are they? Now, I'd be going out of the limb and actually tell you that this is one of those jigs that we give our friends who are first timers give it to them to try and use and more than likely they will catch something with it and this is literally one of the easiest jigs to use when it comes to fast jigging it is a sliding jig and although you know it's a uh, kind of straightforward to use there is a bit of a trick to rig it now this rigging may might be different from your usual rigging because after really studying this and uh, you know just using it after a while we found that this jig has some nuances that you should understand and when you're rigging it you should take those into consideration. Now, first and foremost is that you look at this jig and you'll see that it's actually bottom weighted right here. And that's very important. Now, by the way, this is a special color, so um, kind of not gonna be available for a little bit, but uh, they will be first available here in the Middle East. So for you guys who are here in the Middle East, these this one of this one of the colors is uh this pink and uh silver but you can see that the uh the holographic foil is different there's also a blue and a green version which i'll talk about soon it's called the fcc or the fujara cheat code colors so uh one of the things that you should realize about this is that it is bottom weighted and that if you stop jigging okay it will fall like that all right it's not gonna go like that or like that it's gonna fall down like that okay so one of the things you should understand with this jig now to rig it Let's go ahead and look for some solid rings that would fit. Today, we're going with something that is already made. So we're going with this. Obviously, you can make your own and that's great. But if you're in a pinch, this is a good one. Okay, now, when I choose a hook, I choose a hook that Basically, if I line it up like so, it sticks out like that. Okay, so and it should stick out at the part where it should be sitting. So if this hook is going to be sitting somewhere around here, it should stick out a little bit just like that. Okay, so put that, then we'll get a solid solid ring and split ring okay as far as okay so as far as the length is concerned I always want mine to be about one third give or take around there okay i measure the point not the length that's one two three okay one third and that's it now here's where a lot of things differ for me now as you can see i i'm putting on a lightweight uh, split ring because this split ring is non-load bearing 
So when it's rigged, it should be like that. And it sits like that. Now the reason being is that if you rig it like that, and the jig is actually bottom weighted, it will tangle. So when you let this just drop, what happens is that jig goes like that, it's bottom heavy, it goes like that, your hook is away from where it's going. And that's that. And I guarantee you, your hook up ratio would actually go up if you rig it like this. Okay, if you have questions, please give me a heads up. And it doesn't matter if uh, it's a small cutlass or a big cutlass. In fact, if you look at the casting cutlass, you'll see that it's rigged like this by default because when you toss it out, it sinks like that, okay? There's no need to put a, uh, a hook at the back. Works great as is. A favorite of Amberjack, of course, is the uh, cutlass. And the small cutlass is a favorite food for a lot of fish out there. So again, if you don't have a jig that's like this, go ahead and get one because it's very, very useful. Very good sliding jig, and of course, works well if you're jigging and uh, jigging it fast or whatever. Now, um, just if you are curious about the hook, this is what I'm using. Although there are different hooks that you could use, if you want exact uh, lengths of assist hooks for your jigs, I suggest you make your own okay so that's it for now if you haven't yet please consider subscribing share like comment if you have comments and uh that's it for now thanks for watching class dismissed